So this video is going to focus on uploading stuff to your website. First thing we're going to do is go to Tools, Change Company Settings. And I'm going to go to the Online tab. And I just want to talk a little bit about some of these things. Uh, on the right hand side here you can see that you have a little bit of control over the size and uh, dimensions of your, your thumbnails and your images. Um, for now we'll just keep them at default. Uh, down here we have you remove uniques, remove limiteds, remove open items a certain number of days after a sale. This means if I was to sell a unique piece in Masterpiece I want it to stay on the web and say sold for seven days and then after the seventh day after the seventh day go ahead and remove it. And of course you can lower this or, or um, make it higher. If you wanted to remove immediately I would put it at negative one. Um, right here, if you first get this program or if you're having an issue with uploading stuff to your website, um, you're going to have to go to edit and then push this big button in the middle that says register connection via the internet and say yes and it will establish a connection with our servers and you will be able to upload. This by the way is also how you upload to Archer Exchange. So if you don't have a website with us, this is how you would upload to Archer Exchange. Um, so when I do the register connection via the internet, it should give you a username and password if you don't already have one. Make sure that the send data to website is also checked. If it is not checked, then you will not be able to upload anything to the website. Now the picture should not have any space, the, the file name to the picture should not have any spaces or any weird characters such as um, dashes or um, parentheses or commas or anything like that. This right here is saying if it does, do you want Masterpiece to prompt you to fix that? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this and close it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find an item to upload. This, uh, the office party one is a nice colorful piece. So in Masterpiece I already have all my information such as my title, my artist, my subject, item type or subcategory, and art category. Let me open up my website here. I am going to upload a gallery photo, a logo that goes right up here. Um, I'm going to upload an artist and an item. Of course your website might look a little different, but here's the gist of it. Um, so in Master, I mean, yeah, on your website, um, when you upload stuff, it's going to create categories, possibly um, on the left hand side or on the top. Um, and it's going to get those categories from what you put in the Masterpiece. So in Masterpiece right here, I have an art category of originals and a subcategory of oil and canvas. Um, so when I create a category in Masterpiece and upload it, it's going to create a link on the website. So if I made my art category clocks uh, and upload it, it's going to create a category called clocks on my website. Okay, so from here, I'm going to click on the web tab. I'm going to click on edit and say add to web that's web for both of these, the title web status and the item web status. And that's pretty much it. Um, however, there is a couple other things I could do if I wanted to, such as put in a web description here, and whatever you put in here will go right underneath the picture. Or I could put in a different price. Um, so my item price is $3,500, that's how much selling for in the gallery. But if I wanted to sell it for a little bit different on the web, then I could put it in here. So from here, I'm just going to save it. So as you can see, all I really did was just went to edit and said add to web, add to web, and that was it. Very easy to do. Before I upload that piece, however, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go to online, modify web company data. Here's where I can put in information about my, my store. So if I click on edit, um, I can type in whatever I want in the company description. Um, so this looks misspelled here, let me just fix that. Um, I can do hours of operation, um, store location, um, emails. Um, putting in a company logo and gallery photo is very similar to putting in a picture for an item. You just double click on that area there and up pops the locate picture file window. And I'll just find the picture wherever it is on my um, computer. Make sure that this little box here is checked 
because uh, if it is not checked, then when you upload it, it's not going to upload these pictures. For right now, you have to upload both at one time. You can't upload one and not the other. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And we'll talk about uh, doing events in another video. Um, but you can do events at the same window here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go ahead and update my website. Online, update my website, and then update. And right now it's going to go ahead and look at all the stuff that I put to update my website status and do that. Make sure that your your file names and stuff are, are one word and they don't have any spaces in it. So let me go ahead and open up my website here and do a refresh. And now you will notice that the picture that I uploaded is here and my logo is here. My artist, Jan Harrison, has been uploaded and you can see that my category originals is there with my subcategory of oil and canvas there. So remember, if I made a category called clocks and a subcategory called grandfather, then you'll have a, cat you'll have a, a link on the left-hand side here that says clocks and a subcategory that said grandfather. So if I click on oil and canvas, I'll see the picture here. If I click on my thumbnail, it gives me a bigger picture with the information on the right hand side. And here's my price that I said, 3200. Now it would default to the price of whatever you have on the item tab, but you could always change it. If you have more pictures of the item, it'll show down here as thumbnails and your customer can click on each thumbnail and it would change your picture. Okay, so let me go ahead and open up Masterpiece again and tell you one more thing here. So as you can see, I went to file item and I went to the web tab and I said upload to web on this web tab. Now I can do that for every piece by going next and upload to web, upload to web, next, upload to web, upload to web. If I have about 100 pictures to upload, that's going to be very tiresome. So what I could do is go to online web status browser and this is a way to upload, let's say like mass pictures. Um, on the top here I have my artist, in the middle I have the titles for the artist. If I was to click on, um, let me see who's got a couple, okay Damien. Um, if I click on Damien you can see he's got two titles in Masterpiece. If I was to do an add to web right up here, it's going to say, if I change this, it's going to add every, it's going to add every single one of his items to the web. Do I want to do that? Uh, I can say yes or no. So now I don't have to go to every one of his piece, pieces and say add to web. I can just do it right here. So it's going to add all of them, which here is only two, but you'll get the point. Uh, so let me save that. Uh, so now let's say if I want to upload, um, let's say that Alvar Axon has uh, 50 different titles here. And there's only about 10 of them I want to upload. So I could go to the title section and say, um, add to web to this one. Um, I'll leave that one alone. Uh, maybe add to web on the next one and so forth. I can also add pictures here too. Um, and that's it. So I'll go ahead and save it and then I'll do an online update my website and all of his pictures will upload to the website.